Hello everyone, we are doing our Ash downtown, well, well, this is downtown Asheville, but we're going to do a blind turn test here. Um, so let's go ahead and navigate us down this lane right here, Carolina Lane. Let's see how it does. Got some people coming here on our left. I'm not sure why it's just deciding to not go. But I had to push it through there. I just wasn't going to go. Okay. This person doesn't know where they're going. And my car is going to go straight up just to go around them, which probably happens. Humans drive that way. In cities, especially. That's that's in second disengagement so far in this one. Um, let's go ahead and just snapshot for both of those. And last update was able to see this turn lane. I didn't get that video up uploaded, but actually that was an improvement with the last version, which is now a downgrade with this version. I no longer saw that turn lane. I'm. It is appropriate not to be creeping right now. Um, so that's, this is what we want to see, uh, in this situation is a car parked on our left, um, at the stoplight. The stoplight is red for me. I'm actually not sure what the double red means, um, to be honest, unless that means red for both directions, but, um, now it's green. I have to press the accelerator to get it to start going. Break for that person that was right there. Exact example of someone that's walking in the middle of the road. There are a lot more people today than when I did it last week. I did it early morning, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, uh, and there are a lot more people here this time. This is also two hours later. It's lunchtime. Yeah, it's also two hours later. It's very hesitant with the people. I'm having to press it through. I think that's appropriate. That person needs to look where they're going. He was not waiting for the stop or stop sign for the crosswalk when I was starting to already cut in. This is probably going to try and go around this traffic here and it shouldn't. Yep. Go ahead and do that. So, one thing I didn't post, and perhaps I will consider posting it if it gets a slow period like it did the last time. Not sure why we're in the middle of the road. Um, it made this turn for the first time. Um, last update. And I assume the people made it hesitant right there. Assume something like that. But um, we're going to go through here and reroute us back to our new spot. That was not a disengagement, it's because it didn't route us. Not quick enough at rerouting. So here's our first blind left turn. We were a few seconds too late. <laughs> we would have had some cross traffic coming. Sure, why I turned on the right blinker there. Oh, that's a new bolt. Getting distracted over here. Um, I haven't seen one of the 2022 or 2021 bolts. It is still having a very hard time with this turn. One thing I noticed with the last update is that the first time I came through here, exact same scenario. Is it gonna run over this? Okay, so that's a disengagement because if it's going to run over, we're going to get a disengagement probably every single time on that. I 
I should have overrode that with my foot. Okay, that's a disengage rate. It needs to stop at the light. I was at the at the sign. And it wasn't. It kind of stopped beforehand and rolled through the sign. This is going to definitely be like one of the ultimate stress tests because to be able to Oh yeah, it's failing again on this update. It sucks how one update improves. Like, I wish we could, like, submit feedback. Like, hey, this is really good. You're in, going in the right direction. Keep it. Like, don't get rid of it. <laughs> You're like, this is what it should do. And you just report it as good. I mean, like, this is a negative feedback about it. Like, it does something wrong, is my understanding. That's how that works. And then uh, we need to have it uh, note when it does something bad. Oh, sorry, it does something good. It needs to just note that. Okay, we got ourselves a blind. It's creeping better this time. just kind of stopped in the middle of the road. I had to tap it to get it to go. It can correct here. I don't know why it's not correcting. So that seems to be slightly better. It does seem to have slightly less hesitancy, but overall it's just not, not good. Uh, is it gonna? S oh. Okay, we need to reroute us first of all, and then not run over the plastic. Oh, what a good Samaritan! <laughs> awesome, thanks, dude. Okay, I'm having to tap it through. It's still having hesitancy here. So turn the blinker on at appropriate time. Is it gonna actually turn in here though? And it made it. I just had to give it some confidence. It definitely made it though. I always feel weird uh, seeing the same people that are walking by over and over again. But hopefully they can tell like I have a camera stuck on top of the car. So hopefully they can tell that's not a disengagement. That's because nav is so slow. Yeah, it's it's going the wrong direction. We want to go here. There we go. Our next left turn. Oh, sorry, left turn. Right turn. And blind right turn. No traffic coming like usual. And. Oh, wow. And it got so wrong on this one that I had to back up. Saw this person crossing here. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't even stopped. The person there wasn't even stopped and it's like, oh, we're just going to go around them. We're impatient. I think that seriously happens in the city. Like, I think that's how uh, these cars have learned such terrible behaviors is because people will legitimately... Okay. Decided not to turn. Um, legitimately will uh, go um, around cars where they're not supposed to. And I think that causes this car to learn the incorrect stuff, which is odd that, that that's such, it's a rare thing, but it does happen. But I'm like, why would it give such preference to such terrible behavior? 
Like, most humans don't do that. Like, I don't understand why they decided, oh, we're just gonna go around the car. Like, it, it should be like yellow st traffic lights that are blinking, or yellow lights that are blinking. It's like, we should have to tell it to go through the light. It should be like, we want to go around this car, is this appropriate? Press the accelerator to tell it's appropriate. Fortunately, it's, uh, we're getting no traffic here. I don't know how, without setting up um, multiple people to do that, um, we just have to plan up a time we can have a group of people just run through a test. A bunch of cars go through there. And we got, so we got a car here. Made that. And we're gonna do one more blind right turn, and I guess we're gonna call it good. It, wow, that was so like slow and delayed in every way possible. It was delayed to slow for the car, and then it kept on slow once the car is already out of my way. Uh, I hope those maneuvers can get improved. In fact, I'm gonna send a snapshot of that because that was really bad behavior. This girl's fallen into the street. So that's something you have to watch out for. I wish it didn't break so abruptly. Oh. Well. I don't know if this guy is letting me go. He could have gone. That was weird. He could have gone straight. But then the guy was walking, crossing the lane. So I don't know why he would have done that. We're going to come back through here one more time. And then we will be done with our bind, cur uh, bind turn test. Uh, still, it's just it's not as interesting when you don't get um, uh, traffic coming up here. Or people, for that matter. Of course, we just missed our traffic. Because navigation doesn't want to work. Oh. I hope everyone can realize how frustrating it is when you're looking at this and like you put the point in one area and it's like, nope, we're just gonna go somewhere else. This is, we actually know where you wanna go more than you know where you wanna go. Like Elon said, the car is gonna go automatically know where you wanna go. I got in the wrong lane again. I gotta keep on snapshotting this until it's corrected. I'm pressing the accelerator. It's going at itself right now. And it should not go. Oh, actually, now it can go. Okay, the light just changed. Okay. Well, that was not the most exciting um, video because we didn't have a lot of traffic. But uh, I definitely had some interesting data to provide for Tesla. Uh, especially just going out of the right turn. It needs to just, it needs to, it's trying to go around this car again. Now going around this car is appropriate. Right, right here is appropriate. This person is trying to parallel park and not doing a great job, I guess. Um, can't blame him. I stuck at parallel parking too. With, but with a backup camera in this car, much, much better than it used to be. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, overall, I'm I'm pretty um, happy with this version. This is no exception. Better than last week? I'd say yes, slightly. The blind turn test actually did pretty well, all things considered. This person, that's an edge case. No turn single. Oh, I'm not, I mean, it might not be really be an edge case. Okay. Again, another snapshot. Wow. Okay. Um, that was a spectacular failure all the way through. Uh, at the very end right there. And I mean, half of it was the, uh, that other person's fault. They didn't have a blinker on and they decided to just start going. Um, so it would have been nice if they put a blinker on saying they weren't parking there. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, the, my car should have recognized it moving forward and then stopped. It didn't stop. It was going to keep on going.
and it would have gone into that other car most likely but yeah this is the end of this video everyone if you have questions comments concerns anything put them down in the comments down below i love seeing your feedback um yeah i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching everyone